All right, so in this video, we are going to be doing a quick introduction to scientific notation. Now, scientific notation is a way of writing really big or really small numbers as a general rule without taking up as much room on your page. It also helps uh, for finding the value of these really, really big or really, really small numbers. And we'll get into why that is uh, later on in the lesson. And you need to know your place value and powers of 10 in order to understand what's going on with scientific notation. Let's look at an example here, two trillion. Uh, writing it out regularly, we would have a two uh, and then trillion. So that's gonna have three, six, nine, 12 zeros behind it. Now, when we write this in scientific notation, it's gonna be a two and then times 10 to the, and in this case here, it's gonna be 12th power. Okay, so when we see two times 10 to the 12th power, this does mean we have a two followed by 12 zeros, which is what we see up here in standard form. So all three of these basically mean the same thing. They all have the same value. Again, in order to be good at this, we do need to remind ourselves what place value is. So uh, the number just to the left of the decimal, that's your ones or your unit value, place value. Uh, to the left of that, this four stands for 40, that's tens. The three stands for 300, or it's in our hundreds place value. The two is 2,000, and the one is one, is in the 10,000s place. And now going to the right of the decimal, the six, that's gonna be the tenths place. Seven, that's seven hundredths. The eight is thousandths, and the ninth, the nine is, not, is in the 10,000s place. So now that we have place value, let's look at powers of 10. So for powers of 10, uh, one is just one, 10, 10. So, so we've seen these numbers before. We just did them on the last slide as well, but we can keep going. 10,000, that's a one followed by four zeros. 100,000, that's a one followed by five zeros. Million has six zeros behind it. Billion, nine. Now we're talking about lots of money here. Trillion, we, we looked at that earlier. That's got 12 zeros behind it. Quadrillion, 15 zeros. Now we're looking at number of meters between planets and stars and that type of stuff. Uh, quintillion has uh, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18 zeros behind it. Okay, so we now we have an idea of what these numbers look like. Let's look at their powers of 10. So the, the one, that's gonna be 10 to the zero power. So basically, any number to the zero power is one. 10, 10 to the first power. 100, that's gonna be two tens being multiplied, make 100, so 10 squared or 10 to the second power. Thousands, 10 cubed, 10 thousandths is gonna be 10 to the fourth power. Four tens being multiplied makes 10,000. 100,000, five. Million is gonna be 10 to the sixth power. Billion, 10 to the ninth. Trillion, quadrillion, and quintillion, 10 to the 18th, 10 to the 15th, 10 to the 12th. So there's our powers of 10 and then what they look like. Powers of 10, except on these ones, we're gonna go smaller. So tenths, hundredths, thousands. Thousands is gonna be a three zeros and then a one, as long as you got the zero in front of the decimal point. It, there's different ways of counting it, but here we're looking at how big cells are. Uh, 10,000, uh, 100,000, you're gonna have 0 0.00001 for 100,000. We can look at millionths, billionths, trillionths. Now we're looking at how big atoms are, so super duper small here, quadrillions and quintillions. We're gonna have 18, I think it's 18, what are we at? Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18 zeros in front of that one, as long as you put a, a that's uh, zero in front of the decimal point there. Or if you're just counting decimal points, you're gonna move it over 18 places. So that's what those look like there. Now, uh, with our powers of 10, we, we already know 10 to the zero power is one. Now with these smaller ones, we're, we're getting further and further uh, bigger negative numbers uh, on that 10. So millions, 10 to the negative six, hundred thousandths, 10 to the negative fifth, 10 thousandths, 10 to the negative fourth, billionths, 10 to the negative ninth, trillions, 10 to the negative 12th, negative 15, and 10 to the negative 18 for quintillionths. So there's our powers of 10 for really, really small numbers, and they are gonna be negative powers of 10. So now you might hear on the news something like 2.3 billion. We're just gonna be looking at a couple of uh, examples you might hear or see in everyday life. So remember, billion, that's gonna be a, a one followed by nine zeros. 
Now, the way that we're going to write this in scientific notation, 2.3, and then we're going to do times 10 to the, now this is where your powers of 10 comes into play. Billion, that's going to be 10 to the ninth power. So we have nine zeros on our billion, so that's going to be 10 to the ninth. Now, if we wanted to write this out uh, regularly, that would be uh, 2 billion 300 million, would look like that. Uh, another number you might find in the news, 460,000. Okay, so remember, 100,000 there, that's going to be a one, followed by five zeros for our 100,000 there. So when we go to write this in scientific notation, we're going to write 4.6 for the 460 there. Okay, and then our powers of 10 come after that. So that's going to be times 10 to the, and then our 100,000, that's going to have five zeros. 100,000 is 10 to the fifth when we looked at powers of 10. And then having it written out like normally or in standard form, there's your uh, 460,000, 4.6 ,000, times 10 to the fifth. We do want to be checking out these decimal places, how far they move over. We've kind of looked at that. Uh, just pay attention to that because when we get to the, the ins and outs, uh, that'll make it easy, easier to pick up what's going on. So here we go. Uh, really small number that we might uh, come across. Here we have the odds of getting a royal flush in poker is right here, uh, 649,000 and some change to one. So in order to find the probability of that, you're going to divide. Okay, so here we go. Here's our regular old calculator here. Um, if we're dividing it out, it might show up this way, 1.54e and then negative 6. So some of the older calculators showed it like that. Now, if you got a newer calculator, some of the newer calculators will actually show it to you in scientific notation. 1.54 times 10 to the negative 6. Um, and then if it's got enough room, it'll actually show it like this, written in the standard way of writing it. So check it out with this decimal place here. So our decimal place over here was right behind the 1 and now it's moved over one, two, three, four, five, six spots. Six spots there. And if you remember millionths, that was six, uh, six zeros in front of the one when we looked at our powers of 10. So in words, 1.54 millionths. Okay, so when we write something in scientific notation, it's going to take this form here. This is a form for scientific notation. So we have a number here. It's most time it's a decimal. Sometimes they're whole numbers. Um, it's got to be at least one and less than ten. And then we have times ten to the, and then we'll have an exponent there. So this decimal, this number here, it starts with a one through nine, and then you have a decimal place, and then if there's more, then those go after the decimal point. Uh, the exponents, we're not doing fractions, we're not doing decimals, it's just whole numbers and then the, the negatives of those as well. And that number there, what, whatever's in that exponent is telling you how far you're going to move that decimal place to the left or to the right or how much it was moved. All right, example here. So we have 23,400 and we're going to write this in scientific notation. So we're going to start with our number and so so it's going to start with a 2 and it's going to be 0.34. So you start with the number and then right after that first number you put the decimal point. So there it is right there. And then we're going to have times 10 to the and now we want to again we're looking at how much that decimal point moved. So for really for really big numbers we're counting the decimals and it's going to be a positive. So we're going to count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7. So the decimal point moved like from there because this is where we put it, all the way to here, um, it moved over seven spots. So again, that is, is telling you that the exponent is telling you how far the decimal point moved over. Another example, uh, 4.32 times 10 to the 11th power. So it's in scientific notation already. We're going to write it in as a regular standard number. So uh, we start with 432. And now we're going to look at that exponent. That 11 tells us that we're going to be moving the exponent 11 places, in this case, to the right. Okay, so the decimal place right here, right after the 4, that's going to move 11 places to the right. So the decimal place was there. Now we're going to move it to the right. So here we go. Like, count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I, we're going to move it 11 places to the right. Now when we have a number like this, we normally don't leave the decimal point there. So that's totally optional. All right, some examples. Here's a really, really small number. We are going to write it in scientific notation. So that decimal place is going to go right after the 6. Okay, so it's going to be 6.54. And then we are going to write times 10 to the, and 
again, the exponent here is going to tell us how far that decimal place moved over. So there's a decimal place there, and it moved to behind the six. So it moved over, we can count one, two, three, four spots. So, and this is a small number, so our exponent is going to be a very, it's going to be negative. So it moved over four spots, but that's going to be a negative four for our exponent, for our really small numbers. 9.87 times 10 to the negative 6. Again, that negative there, that's millionths. Um, if you remember your powers of 10, this was 10 thousandths. If you remember your powers of 10, and so uh, so we're going to start out, we know it's in scientific notation, so we're going to have a 987 in our number, and then we're looking at this exponent to uh, tell us how many places we're moving the decimal point over. So it's a 6, so we're going to move it 6 places, and this time it's going to go to the left. So that way we end up with a really, really small decimal number. Okay, so that decimal place is going to move over 6 to the, to the left. Uh, count with me. Here we go. We're going to move it over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six spots. So point zero 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 nine eight seven is how we would write that as a regular decimal number. All right, so here we have a pretend YouTube video and we're going to write all of these stats in scientific notation. So 77,400 in scientific notation, that's going to be 7.74 and then we're doing times 10 to the and now we count how many places that decimal place moved over. So it moved over, it started there, it moved over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven places. So 7.74 times 10 to the seventh. That was our 10, 10 millionths place, 10 millionths place. Uh, the K's here, those, those stand for thousands. So this is 265,000. So that's why it would be uh, written in standard regular number form. And so when we go to scientific notation, we're going to put the decimal place right after the first number. So that's to be 2.65 and then times 10 to the, and then we count decimal points or one, two, three, four, five. So 10 to the fifth, 3.9. And again, the K stands for thousand. That's what it looks like normal. Now, when we go to write it in scientific notation, that decimal point point is going to go right after our first number and this one's actually already written basically in scientific notation it's 3.9 and then thousand thousand that's 10 to the third power and for this number here that's 1.7 m the m stands for million so that's to be 1.7 in scientific notation times 10 to the and then millions that's six so so these two are saying the same thing, 1.7 million and 1.7 times 10 to the 6. So if you written out standard form, it would look like this, 1,700,000. All right, quick recap here. Um, here's what scientific notation looks like. That's the form that we're doing. Uh, we're starting out with A. It's going to be a number 1 through 9 and then the decimal point and then the rest of the number after the decimal point. And then the, the X there, that's, we're not doing decimals, we're not doing fractions, because that number is, that's the exponent, it's telling us how far we're moving our decimal point to the left or to the right. And again, big numbers, that decimal point's gonna be to the, uh, all the way to the right and to the left, you're gonna have zero point and then a bunch of zeros and then your number there. All right, so I hope this helps. I hope we have a great start to your day, rest of your day or evening or whatever time you might be watching.